Hello guys, welcome to Insane Electronics. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you something that I got last day. So if you watched my previous video, which was about, not previous video, a few videos back, I made a video about this, a teardown video about this original Asus charger. And this one was dead. This one is dead. And I will link the video in the description and also on the i button up here. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it. So in that video, I told you that this for as a replacement for this I ordered another charger uh, and this is exactly that is so this thing here is made by a company called uh, geek cases and this particular model is called geek like geek cases zip cube plus so as you can see already it has a 71 rupees shipping this came as a speed post Indian post right here very single very simple packaging used by the seller it's actually a you know a cardboard box there is nothing in I already opened it up when I got it just to uh, confirm that it is the actual product so I'm going to open it in front of the camera right now and there it is that is what's inside uh, that is what you get and by the way this thing will cost you around 850 rupees including shipping so uh, I think you can buy this thing from Amazon doc, uh, Amazon dot in of course and being a premium product, Geek Cases is a relatively new player in the market. This thing is actually, you know, a relatively new company, and there is an official website. If you search for geekcases.com, you can find the official website. That is the official website, and I bought this thing from their official website itself because at the time when I bought it, this thing is much cheaper on their official website. Amazon was a little bit more pricier. And I don't know what the condition now, but when I'm when I bought this thing, the Amazon listing was a little bit more price. I think it's uh, Amazon was selling it for around 900 rupees, and I bought this as I mentioned, including shipping at around 850 rupees. So you will get a ca uh, nice USB cable cable with this. We will take a look at that later. And here is the charger itself. Let me focus on it. So very simple arrangement going on. There is nothing on the bottom side it's a really simple way of packaging them they are not using any kind of plastic as I mentioned there somewhere here they say go green and here is the actual thing here's the three ports that I was mentioning it still has the protective covering itself I mean this thing is not used this is the first time I'm taking it out and using it as I mentioned I already opened it before but and it has a dedicated one amp port and two Intelli charge option and by the way let me tell you that this thing is actually heavier you know it feels it has some weight it's not cheaper I mean this thing this as this original charger is much way it weighs much less than this thing this thing has some weight to it I mean seriously let's take a look at the rating of this thing it's a 5 volt 3.4 amp max so it's a 17 watts unit and you can buy this thing at two options this particular model zip cube and this is a plus model and they you can buy the, just the zip cube which only has uh, which only has two usb ports this thing is a plus model zip cube plus so you will get a three port option and you can actually buy a lot of other cheaper options you know you will get a uh, three port or four port usb chargers for around 250 rupees indian rupees from ebay but you cannot guarantee that that thing is actually providing the ratings that that is mentioned on it but this thing being a premium product uh, this thing is a premium product and I'm going to test it right now I have some tools nearby which I'm going to test it but this thing has IntelliCharge built in and what they claim is that this thing can actually detect the requirement the current requirement of whatever device that is plugged into these two ports right here these two green ports it can sense the requirement and it can deliver the current accordingly and IntelliCharge is actually you know proprietary term for the this particular technology that is designed by the geek cases itself I think and by the way geek cases I think is the is a made in China it's made in China so a premium product from China this is not cheap and it has some weight to it that can be uh, you know explain with the 3.4 amps rating the transformer has I believe because it has a one amp port and two intelli charge output transformer should have a dedicated charge one amp coil I think I don't know so yeah I'm going to test it for now and this is a cable 
that you get you can buy this thing in Amazon you can buy it for uh, with or without the cable but in the case on the official website only the uh, cable with the cable is the only available option and the cable itself if you take a look at that that's the that is the quality it really don't feel that cheap I mean this thing has some quality the feel that it gives is really nice it's you know it doesn't feel that cheap at all I don't have a cheap cable I, in my near vicinity any, but anyway this thing is not that cheap I mean you know it has to deliver up to 3.4 amps so I'm expecting the coils to be much thicker and by the way I have to mention that they actually sell Geek Cases branded cables and they will cost you like 350 rupees or so for the braided type cable and this particular thing is actually around 250 rupees or something that for the non braided cable so they are actually not cheap the cable itself is not cheap so I can we can be sure that this thing is really a good choice so enough of talking let's actually test it and by the way this thing is not certified by Qualcomm quick charge or fast charge or any other uh, you know quick charging technologies and don't mistake the IntelliCharge for any of that because IntelliCharge is their proprietary uh, design proprietary charging technique adopted by this particular company and this is no way certified by uh, the uh, quick charge or anywhere like that because quick charge and such high such charging techniques uses 9 volts for the higher power requirements and this thing can only deliver 5 volts as it can be mentioned here so it is no way uh, compatible with uh, quick charge devices but it can still support it can give out 3.4 amps uh, using these two pins right here so what they are claiming is that what I'm going to do now is I have a USB load and that is the first problem this USB load can only do up to 2 amps max so I do have a meter right here somewhere if I can find that okay I'm going to pause I need to find my USB meter I'll be back okay found my USB meters right here these two are the meters that I'm going to use I made a video about both of these you can watch the video by clicking the link in the description or on the i button right there so what they are claiming is that this thing also I have to mention that this thing has over voltage protection and over voltage protection over current protection short circuit protection every kind of things built onto it I will link in the description you will find all the features that is provided by this charge I will link all that in the description so and uh, as I mentioned I can only at the moment I can only test it up to for around 2 amps but I'm going to do uh, 2 amps on all the I'm going to load all the 3 uh, ports using uh, whatever device I'm having I'm having an excess right here which is good for this because it is about to die any moment so it, it will draw some current and yeah let's test it so first I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the USB meter right there let me adjust the camera so that I can make everything fit inside I'm going to keep it like that I'm going to plug it on and 5 volts bang on let's plug a USB load and right now I'm going to test the 1 amp load so I'm going to put the load on 1 amp settings and I'm going to insert it there it is as you can see 1 amps at 4.99 that's 5 let's say 1 amps at 5 volts it's bang on there it is no voltage drop at all let's test it on 2 amps there it is it is not see that did you see that it's bang on 2 amps and 4.9 it's 5 volts 2 amps so that alone is 10 watts of power that is not a 1 amp power right there oh it's getting hot it's getting really hot and it, it's right now it's drawing 2.14 2.15 that is drawing even more but still they mentioned it as a dedicated one amp port see that one amp and you can easily you can see it yourself that it can handle two amps at five volts no problem whatsoever at all so I'm going to turn it off and let's plug this thing into the IntelliCharge option and please keep in mind that I can only test this thing for up to 2 amps I don't have a device that can drop to 3.4 amps 
at the moment but we will load all the three ports and see how this thing performs on the intelli charge it's now drawing one amps okay one amps fine on two amps mode that is 4.99 and two amps so that's fine can support two amps i'm going to plug it on the last port right there boom two amps no problem whatsoever at all so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug this thing to here and i'm going to plug another meter to the to the available port right there i'm going to use a usb cable oops some things are falling onto the bench i'm going to use a usb cable and i'm going to charge my nexus right here it's an lg nexus right here so i'm going to charge that phone using the 2 amp port and that as you can see is drawing around what is that is it drawing any current at all it's drawing around 4.9 volts it is drawing around uh, 5 volts and let's say 30 milliamps what is that thing okay I don't know if that is reading correctly or not but I'm going to do something I'm going to swap between these two I'm going to load the one amp using that one so it, you can clearly see the voltage and current over there I'm going to plug this thing using this one and there it is it is now drawing one amps and yes it I was right the nexus is only drawing around 0 0.08 0 100 milliamps what I don't know why but that is I'm not doing any manipulation right here the cable this is all the cable that it has you can see clearly that is all the cable so I'm not doing any kind of manipulation but it's only drawing around uh, that much so if I take that out is there an, is, it is not creating any difference it's now taking 30 milliamps 28 so this is not the issue I thought this is because of the presence of this one but it's not the case it's drawing only that much I don't know why so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that in I'm going to plug oh this thing is really hot at the moment I'm going to plug that one also so it can if I can make that fit and I'm going to charge my cell phone which is what I'm using to record this video if I can if I'm able to plug the USB cable into that nope nope I'm not able to do that so anyways but yeah you clearly see the result it can support multiple devices but I don't know why it is taking so it's only showing around 30 milliamps just 30 milliamps thank you uh, anyways I'm going to pause and I'll be back in a second so guys I'm back just to confirm that this thing is only drawing uh, that much low current and uh, now I'm using the cheapest USB charger that I bought you can find the video about this by clicking the i button or in the link will be in the description I'm going to use that and see how much current it draws from there yeah it's only 5, 52 milliamps 50 milliamps the current seems to be dropping so maybe that is how much see that's also drawing 0 0.28 0 0.3 amps so that is something to do with the phone itself it was not the problem it is not the issue with the charger as you can see it's drawing the same amount of current from here also i don't know why because usually when phones are at the lowest charge level they try to draw more power to charge it up to a certain level and then only the voltage level the current level goes down but here it's I don't know why it's doing the opposite right here but anyways that's the full review of this thing it, it, it is actually a really good charger that you can buy you can clearly you know without any uh, doubts you can buy this thing because it has you can feel the quality in it it feels much heavier it's not any light device and you can charge three devices it has all voltage protection it can sense the current requirement you can charge your Android and iPhone devices with this yeah I don't have any i devices to check check the 3 amp uh, thing but it's if it, if it can support the 2 amps at 5 volts then I can clearly say that it can actually support the three, full 3.4 amps rating 
So yeah, that is the full review about the Geek Cases Zip Cube Plus charger. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.